Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm here today to answer the question, what can you add to Google Chat? So you're in chat or better yet, you're in spaces. This is what teachers and students can add. So first, there's a plus button. And when we click that plus button, we can add a drive file, a calendar invite, or create docs, slides, or sheets from scratch, which is very similar to Classroom. With drive files, I really like this because I can add really a lot of different drive files, including a Jamboard Jam, see that? And I can add that, uh, so very, very nice. There is a rich text formatting, and if I click this, it goes away, but here's where you get your rich text formatter. Unfortunately, no ability to hyperlink. However, we have bold, italic, underlined bullets, which is so important to for communicating with students. And then also we get the colors, which are the four, Google Colors plus black and gray. So that's your options. You also have strike through if you don't like what you see in your text. From there, there are emojis and the emojis have search. So that is really nice. And that gives students some self-expression, something they don't really have across other Google Workspace apps. So I really like seeing that. There is also, again, talking about self-expression and fun. There are GIFs, we can search GIFs. And uh, again, so that's really nice. I'll throw one of those in there. Great. We can also upload from our uh, desktop. Uh, one last thing you can add is you can create an instant Google Meet meeting, and that's great for spaces. So anyone who's in the space with you, you just throw that on there and everyone's in if, as long as they click into it. So that is everything you can add to a Google chat message, whether you're in conventional chat or spaces. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.